Good evening. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How was your day? Uh, so, fine. Okay. That's great. Uh, well, I hope that you had a great day. And today we are going to start a new level. Before uh, before starting the class, I just want to say congratulations because now you are in level three. As you know, yeah, we are going to be having more challenges, but not worry, we are going to be overcoming together those challenges. Don't be afraid about mistakes because mistakes makes perfect. So just try it and if you, if you commit a mistake, no worry. Learn from that. Antes de empezar la clase, me gustaría aclarar unos puntos. ¿Cómo son las formas de evaluar a mis estudiantes de, dentro de mi lado? Pues en, dentro de lo que es mi lado, yo evalúo tres cosas. Primero, es la asistencia. Segundo, es la participación. Cuando yo menciono, por ejemplo, un nombre y empiezo a hacer la cuenta regresiva de 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 y no me contesta la persona, el estudiante, lo que hago es preguntar otra vez. Maybe is having um, internet issues. Probablemente, ¿verdad? Pero si a la segunda no me llegase a contestar, pues eso lo tomo como nota. Aquí tengo lo que son la lista con los nombres y aquí voy agregando todas como las notes, los details. Y la tercera, que son los tests. Cuando estamos haciendo tests online o estoy haciendo preguntas específicas hacia alguien, estoy viendo qué tan correctas fueron sus respuestas. Sin embargo, esta la dejo como tercera por el hecho de que estamos aprendiendo y no es como muy fundamental dentro de, como de golpe, ¿verdad? So, before going into the class, do you have any question about it? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la forma de evaluación? Yes? No? No. 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 Perfect. So, we are going to start with a warm-up. Vamos a empezar con un warm-up. What is about? You need to guess the animal. You need to guess the animal just with the sound. Van a adivinar el animal so solo con el sonido. Everyone needs to participate. Todos deben de participar, okay? So, are you ready? Yes. Goes. Perfect. So, give me the yes. second and I'm going to share the audio. Just a moment, please. Animal made the sound. What is that one? What is that animal? Oveja, pero ship. Uh -huh. It can be the ship. Ship. A ship. Uh -huh. What else? Who said something different? ¿Quién cree que es algo diferente? Okay. Listen again. A goat made that sound. Okay. A goat. What is a goat? Goat. ¿Qué es una goat? Una cabra. Exactly. Perfect. A goat. Repeat, goat. 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 Perfect. Let's goat. move on. Yeah. Let's eh. give me a second, please, and let's move on with the second one. Listen carefully. Wolf. What is the animal? Wolf. 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 Perfect. Wolf. Repeat, wolf. 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 Let's move on with the next one. Cat. 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 Perfect, exactly. Repeat. Cat. 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 The next one. Well, uh -huh. So now you, we have the first clue that it is an animal that lives in the ocean, right? Uh -huh. But what is the name of the animal in English? Why? Uh -huh. Something like that. Uh -huh. Dolphin. Okay. Let, let's Dolphin. listen. A whale made this sound. Repeat. Whale. Whale. Uh, whale. Whale. Guys, repeat. Whale. 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 Well, perfect. Well, 
dice Ney? Pavo real. Ok. Ya lo dijeron, fue el primero. But how can I say that in, in English? No lo sé. <laughs> ok, re repeat. Peacock. 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 Exacto, eso es un pavo real. A peacock. ¿Por qué son reconocidos los pavos reales? ¿Qué es lo que tienen? ¿Qué son bien reconocidos? Las plumas. Exacto, es cuando abren su, abren su plumas. Exacto, correcto. And that one is a peacock. Let's move on with the next one. Listen carefully. What is the animal? Leo. Lion. Leo. Lion. Tiger. Lion. Okay. Good. What is what is the pronunciation? Leon, lion. What is lion? Lion. 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 Ex yeah. Repeat. A lion. Lion. Again. Lion. 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 Perfect. That one is the pronunciation. Just give me a second, please. Uh -huh. Peacock? No. Turkey. 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 Exactly. Repeat. Turkey. Tur uh -huh. Turkey. 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 Yeah, okay, perfect. Next one. Elephant. 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 Easy peasy, right? Yes. That one is easy peasy. Okay, just give me a second, please. Just a moment. There, there it is. And I think that I'm not sharing right. Okay, perfect. So, what we are going to be doing today. So, uh, today we are going to work in something different. Vamos a trabajar de una forma diferente. As you can see, we have been working in many ways. Hemos estado trabajando de diferentes maneras. We are not working in the same way. And today is going to be completely different. Why? Because we are going to be working in... in, in Just give me a second, that one is the pause. So uh, before going into that, I just want to take the time to say you congratulations because you are in level three. I hope that we are going to be learning together, okay? So congratulations, guys. We are going to be working in tell studies. What is tell studies in Spanish? In Spanish, yeah. What is tell studies in Spanish? Hormiga y la... Y el saltamonte. La cigarra o... Ella, exactly. Tell us stories es como contemos historias o in other way that you can say that es cuenta cuentos. Y exacto, el tema de lo que vamos a estar estudiando es the ant and the grasshopper. Repeat, the ant and the grasshopper. Yeah, and the, the, and the, and the grasshopper. Hopper. Okay. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Eh, eh, es como junto, todo junto. Grass Grass hopper. Hopper. Grass Grass hopper. Hopper. Grass hopper. ¿Quién se sabe esta historia? Raise your hand. ¿Quién se sabe esta? Que más que todo es una como una moral lesson, como una lección moral. ¿Quién se la sabe? Who knows it? Trata de que eh, las hormigas están trabajando, preparándose para el invierno y el saltamonte no solo las ve trabajar, ¿no? Y And cuando... have you ever... Yeah, sorry, sorry. Y cuando viene el, el invierno, pues se queda sin comida el saltamonte y después pide ayuda a las hormigas. Y hasta les Exacto. dice que no trabajo durante todo el verano para prepararse el invierno. Algo así es. Exactly. And have you ever listened this story in English? ¿Alguna vez la escuchado en inglés? No. It's going to be a new challenge, right? Okay. Was it a new challenge? So we are going to be working in a um, in a story together, and what what we are going to we are going to have an audio. This audio I'm going to play it for you three times, just three times. Meanwhile, you are going to be taking all the notes that you can. Lo voy a reproducir tres veces y ustedes deben de tomar todas las notas que puedan, all the details about the story. 
No importa que no entiendan el audio a un 100%. It doesn't matter. You need to take the, the notes about the things that you understood. ¿Ok? Van a tomar notas acerca de lo que ustedes entendieron. Las partes que ustedes entendieron. Then, después de esas tres veces, what we are going to do. I'm going to create break rooms. I'm going to create teams. Voy a crear como pequeños grupos. As it can be in couples or it can be in, in trios. Puede ser en, couple, en parejas o puede ser en trios. And then with your couple or your trio, you are going to discuss about the story and at least create one or two questions. Van a crear una o dos preguntas y se las van a hacer a sus compañeros. Before moving into this, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes? No? no? No. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, Miss Fatima de Lao, are you here? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Uh, uh, good evening. Can you help me please say in the instructions in Spanish? Más o menos le entendí que, bueno, primero teníamos que tomar todas las notas que todo lo que pudiéramos tomar de la historia que vamos a escuchar en inglés. Porque nos preguntó que si habíamos escuchado la historia que nos describió la compañera, pero en inglés. Uh -huh. Y que luego íbamos a hacer este, unos grupos que podían ser parejas o tríos. Uh -huh. Y que íbamos a hacer unas preguntas. Ok. ¿Y quién va a crear los grupos? Usted. Perfect. ¿En, ¿A quién le van a hacer las preguntas? A nuestros compañeros de equipo, si no me equivoco. That is correct. So guys, I'm gonna start sharing the audio. Remember, it's just gonna be three times, solo tres veces. And guys, please pay attention to the audio and take all the details that you can. So we are going to restart. Por favor, vamos a empezar. Just give me a second, please. And let me know if you can listen the audio. Can you listen it? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Here we go, guys. Pay attention. The ant and the grasshopper. One hot summer's day, a grasshopper sat on a blade of grass enjoying the sunshine. What a fine day, he said. The sun's shining and I've got as much grass as I can eat. The grasshopper spent the whole morning stuffing his face until he couldn't eat another thing. Right, he said, now I'll make some music. He rubbed his back legs against his wings and made a loud buzzing sound. <laughs> Lovely, said the grasshopper. Nothing better than the sound of a happy grasshopper. Give it a rest, said a passing ant. What, said the grasshopper. I'm trying to work here, said the ant. You're giving me a headache. You don't like my music, said the grasshopper. Not my kind of thing, said the ant. Anyway, ain't got time to stand around talking about music. Got stuff to do. Stuff, said the grasshopper. What stuff have you got to do on a lovely sunny morning like this? Got to get this food shifted, said the ant. The grasshopper noticed that the ant was dragging along a huge ear of corn. That looks like hard work, mate, said the grasshopper. Tell me about it, said the ant. What are you doing with it, said the grasshopper. Taking it to our nest, said the ant. What are you doing that for? Food for the winter, said the ant. Got to get ready for the winter. Why, said the grasshopper. Winter won't come for ages. Won't be winter till the winter. It's summer now. Why worry about the winter? We always worry about the winter, said the ant. We spend all summer gathering up food for the winter. It's what we ants do. It's not what grasshoppers do, said the grasshopper. We grasshoppers know how to enjoy the summer. Eat, sleep, make some cool music. It's a fine life. We grasshoppers know how to live, see? Right, said the ant. I'll leave you to it. Don't go, ant mate, said the grasshopper. Stick around. Pass the day with me. Sorry, said the ant. Like I said, I've got stuff to do. The ant dragged his ear of corn and struggled off across the field. Please yourself, 
called the grasshopper. I'm not bothered. I've got stuff to do too. Got all this grass to eat. Got the sun to enjoy. Not going to waste a lovely day like this talking to ants. Have you ever seen a more silly creature than an ant? shouted the grasshopper. It was winter. The grasshopper was cold. Too cold to hop. Too cold to make his music. And he was hungry. He'd spent all day looking for something to eat. Suddenly, he saw the ant. Hello, ant, he shivered. R remember me? Yep, said the ant. Cold, isn't it? said the grasshopper. Nice and warm in our nest, said the ant. Not so much to eat now, is there? said the grasshopper. We've got plenty, said the ant. Our storerooms are full of seeds and corn, got loads of food, enough to see us safely through to spring. Loads of food, eh? said the grasshopper. Look, mate, I don't suppose I could... I don't suppose you'd be able to give me... You said you'd never seen a more silly creature than an ant, said the ant. I didn't mean that, said the grasshopper. That was just a joke. Oh, come on, just a couple of ears of corn. You can spare it. I've got nothing. Sorry, mate, said the ant. If you save up on the days when you have plenty, then there'll never be a day when you have nothing. The ant hurried down into his warm nest, knowing that he'd never ever see that grasshopper again. Okay, now it is gonna be the second time. Are you ready? Second time? Yes? Uh huh. Yes. Someone, yes. Steven? Yeah, Mr. Richard, Steven, do you have a question? Eh, solo es el audio o no hay ningún video así como, como referencia? No, it's just the audio. Okay, that's okay. Not a problem. Uh, another question? Other pregunta? No. no. Okay, so guys, second time. Please pay attention. Remember, take notes. The ant and the grasshopper. One hot summer's day, a grasshopper sat on a blade of grass enjoying the sunshine. What a fine day, he said. The sun's shining and I've got as much grass as I can eat. The grasshopper spent the whole morning stuffing his face until he couldn't eat another thing. Right, he said, now I'll make some music. He rubbed his back legs against his wings and made a loud buzzing sound. Lovely said the grasshopper. Nothing better than the sound of a happy grasshopper. Give it a rest, said a passing ant. What? said the grasshopper. I'm trying to work here, said the ant. You're giving me a headache. You don't like my music, said the grasshopper. Not my kind of thing, said the ant. Anyway, ain't got time to stand around talking about music. Got stuff to do. Stuff? said the grasshopper. What stuff have you got to do on a lovely sunny morning like this? Got to get this food shifted, said the ant. The grasshopper noticed that the ant was dragging along a huge ear of corn. That looks like hard work, mate, said the grasshopper. Tell me about it, said the ant. What are you doing with it, said the grasshopper. Taking it to our nest, said the ant. What are you doing that for? Food for the winter said the ant. Got to get ready for the winter. Why? said the grasshopper. Winter won't come for ages. Won't be winter till the winter. It's summer now. Why worry about the winter? We always worry about the winter, said the ant. We spend all summer gathering up food for the winter. It's what we ants do. It's not what grasshoppers do, said the grasshopper. We grasshoppers know how to enjoy the summer. Eat, sleep, make some cool music. It's a fine life. We grasshoppers know how to live, see? Right, said the ant. I'll leave you to it. Don't go, ant mate, said the grasshopper. Stick around. Pass the day with me. Sorry, said the ant. Like I said, I've got stuff to do. 
The ant dragged his ear of corn and struggled off across the field. Please yourself, called the grasshopper. I'm not bothered. I've got stuff to do too. Got all this grass to eat. Got the sun to enjoy. Not going to waste a lovely day like this talking to ants. Have you ever seen a more silly creature than an ant? shouted the grasshopper. It was winter. The grasshopper was cold. Too cold to hop. Too cold to make his music. And he was hungry. He'd spent all day looking for something to eat. Suddenly, he saw the ant. Hello, ant, he shivered. R remember me? Yep, said the ant. Cold, isn't it? said the grasshopper. Nice and warm in our nest, said the ant. Not so much to eat now, is there? said the grasshopper. We've got plenty, said the ant. Our storerooms are full of seeds and corn, got loads of food, enough to see us safely through to spring. Loads of food, eh? said the grasshopper. Look, mate, I don't suppose I could... I don't suppose you'd be able to give me... You said you'd never seen a more silly creature than an ant, said the ant. I didn't mean that, said the grasshopper. That was just a joke. Oh, come on, just a couple of ears of corn. You can spare it. I've got nothing. Sorry, mate, said the ant. If you save up on the days when you have plenty, then there'll never be a day when you have nothing. The ant hurried down into his warm nest, knowing that he'd never ever see that grasshopper again. Okay, guys, I would like to know, it is difficult or it is not difficult? Difficult. For me, difficult. Do you think that it has difficult vocabulary? Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, so um, how many minutes do you think that it is the video? ¿Cuántos minutos creen que tiene? Five, five minutes. Five minutes, uh huh. Could be more or less. Um, six minutes. Five, six. Solo son cuatro minutos. No sienten que es como que si fuera un gran audio, super largo. Sí. Yes. <laughs> okay, but no problem. Guys, as I mentioned at the beginning, take notes about the things that you get about the video. Why? Because then with your couple or the trio, you're going to share your ideas and then you're going to listen to other ideas and then you're going to be like join the pieces. Van a estar como uniendo las partes and then you're going to understand the story. So don't get frustrated. Don't get overwhelmed, okay? Remember what I said about listen. First, you need to know about the environment. You need to listen about the, the background sounds. For example, how do you listen music on the audio? Escucha música? En, en, el, en el audio? Yes. yes. Sí, 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 sí. Sorry? Yo tengo bastante problema con esto, con, con escuchar. Y escucho y también veo películas, pero sí siento que me costó bastante. Tengo que estar como viendo las letras. Y viendo eso el año pasado siento esa, pero siento que no me entra. No hay problema. En mi caso es difícil también, pero no es imposible. Igual yo, profe, yo, yo no sé si estoy en un, en un nivel, digamos, avanzado para lo que yo sé, porque... No entiendo nada. No sé si estoy en el nivel correcto o ah. no sé. Ok, no, 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 problem, no, no, problem. We are going to see what is happening and of course I'm here to help you, ok? Aquí estoy para ayudarnos. Vamos a ver qué es lo que está sucediendo, ok? Thank you so much for sharing that. So, returning to the audio. Otra vez con el audio. Recuerden tomar notas de lo que entienden sobre el video y manténganlas ahí. Escuch no sé si le puso el mensaje, pero eh, le comenté de que como yo ando ahorita por la calle, entonces para hacer los grupos se lo voy a hacer como de oyente, pero sí me gustaría que me metiera en un grupo solo para estar escuchando. Ok, gracias por la información, Miss. Bueno. 
y pongan atención. Por ejemplo, how many characters are in the audio? ¿Cuántas personas están en el audio? How many characters? ¿Cuántos eh, personajes? Two. Uh, two. Dos. The ant and the grasshopper, right? Ellos dos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, y otra cosa que puede hacer. Eh, um, how, is, how is the grasshopper at the beginning? ¿Cómo está, cómo está el, el, el saltamontes al inicio? ¿Es happy or is sad? Happy. 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 And how is it at the end? How is it at the end? Happy or sad? Sad. Sad. Ah. De esta manera, como desglosan información de poco a poco así, es como se entiende nos dicen. So that's why I'm telling you take notes and then support with your other uh, classmates, okay? So, guys, it's going to be the third time and the last one, okay? So please pay attention. Please turn off your microphones and pay attention. Thank you. The ant and the grasshopper. One hot summer's day, a grasshopper sat on a blade of grass enjoying the sunshine. What a fine day, he said. The sun's shining and I've got as much grass as I can eat. The grasshopper spent the whole morning stuffing his face until he couldn't eat another thing. Right, he said, now I'll make some music. He rubbed his back legs against his wings and made a loud buzzing sound. <laughs> Lovely, said the grasshopper. Nothing better than the sound of a happy grasshopper. Give it a rest, said a passing ant. <laughs> what, said the grasshopper. I'm trying to work here said the ant. You're giving me a headache. You don't like my music, said the grasshopper. Not my kind of thing, said the ant. Anyway, ain't got time to stand around talking about music. Got stuff to do. Stuff, said the grasshopper. What stuff have you got to do on a lovely sunny morning like this? Got to get this food shifted, said the ant. The grasshopper noticed that the ant was dragging along a huge ear of corn. That looks like hard work, mate, said the grasshopper. Tell me about it, said the ant. What are you doing with it, said the grasshopper. Taking it to our nest, said the ant. What are you doing that for? Food for the winter, said the ant. Got to get ready for the winter. Why, said the grasshopper. Winter won't come for ages. Won't be winter till the winter. It's summer now. Why worry about the winter? We always worry about the winter, said the ant. We spend all summer gathering up food for the winter. It's what we ants do. It's not what grasshoppers do, said the grasshopper. We grasshoppers know how to enjoy the summer. Eat, sleep, make some cool music. It's a fine life. We grasshoppers know how to live, see? Right, said the ant. I'll leave you to it. Don't go, ant, mate, said the grasshopper. Stick around. Pass the day with me. Sorry, said the ant. Like I said, I've got stuff to do. The ant cracked his ear of corn and struggled off across the field. Please yourself, called the grasshopper. I'm not bothered. I've got stuff to do too. Got all this grass to eat. Got the sun to enjoy. Not going to waste a lovely day like this talking to ants. Have you ever seen a more silly creature than an ant? Shouted the grasshopper. It was winter. The grasshopper was cold. Too cold to hop. Too cold to make his music. And he was hungry. He'd spent all day looking for something to eat. Suddenly, he saw the ant. Hello, ant, he shivered. R remember me? Yep, said the ant. Cold, isn't it? Said the grasshopper. Nice and warm in our nest said the ant. Not so much to eat now, is there? said the grasshopper. We've got plenty, said the ant. Our storerooms are full of seeds and corn, got loads of food, enough to see us safely through to spring. Loads of food, eh? said the grasshopper. Look, mate, I don't suppose I could... I don't suppose you'd be able to give me... You said you'd never seen a more silly creature than an ant, 
said the ant. I didn't mean that, said the grasshopper. That was just a joke. Oh, come on, just a couple of ears of corn. You can spare it. I've got nothing. Sorry, mate, said the ant. If you save up on the days when you have plenty, then there'll never be a day when you have nothing. The ant hurried down into his warm nest, knowing that he'd never ever see that grasshopper again. Okay, guys, that one was the last time. Just give me just a second, please. Just a moment. Now, a little bit difficult about the pronunciation. Yeah, that one, it is a pretty pronunciation. I'm going to start looking for more than American pronunciations in order to get, get used to that, that um, accent, okay? So we are going to go with the break rooms. But before going into that, I would like to know if you have any questions. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Yes. Yeah, tell me, Mr. Casi, casi la última parte cuando me llega la la cigarra de lo digo de la hormiga. Hay una frase, hay varias frases que él menciona la palabra cool, pero no sé si cool de lado o cool es como. If we, um, I'm gonna give you the you need to answer. I'm just gonna give you a clue. If there is a winter, what is winter? Invierno. Sorry? Invierno. Yeah. Invierno. So what how is the weather in winter? Como es el, el clima in Cold. winter? Cold. Cold. So that means that the grasshopper was Como estaba? Raining. Si, si, si dijimos que el winter es el lado, ¿cómo estaba el grasshopper afuera en el winter? Cold. 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 Exacto. Exacto. Entonces significa que es como frío congelado. ¿Ok? Esa es la pronunciación correcta. Cold. 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 Entonces nosotros decimos como cold. Mm -hmm. Sería cold. Cold. Exactly. Cold. Uh -huh. Perfect. So. I'm going to start creating the groups and guys, please work together. Remember, at least one or two questions. Y eso se le van a preguntar a sus, sí, a sus um, classmates, okay? So give me a second and start thinking about the Por favor, acepten la invitación. Uh, Mr. Joel, Mr. Elias, are you here? Misters? Están acá? Perfect. Mr. Elias Aleman, are you here? Perfect.
Hola, Orlando. Hola, hola, chicos. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Hi. ¿Qué tal? Ahora en español, pasa switch to Spanish. ¿Cómo estuvo? ¿Sintieron que fue más fácil el hecho de tener ayuda de alguien más? Sí, se siente un poco más fácil. Se, se dieron cuenta que prácticamente se une información, porque, por ejemplo, no es lo mismo que yo pienso a lo que piensa Alejandra. Sin embargo, los dos, entre los dos pensamientos podemos hacer uno. Es exactamente dentro de la misma. ¿No les pasó que algunas personas tenían otra información que a comparación de ustedes no tenía? Sí, o con las dudas de la otra persona, igual como que se terminaba de comprender un poco. ¿Se terminaba de qué? De cómo comprender o cómo armar las partes de la historia. Correcto, y a eso le llamamos comprehension. No todos tenemos la misma comprensión. Eh, yo pienso de una manera, tú piensas de otra manera, y así sucesivamente. So now we are going to go with the round of questions. Um, Orlando, do you want to be my volunteer? ¿Quieres ser mi voluntario? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mr. Or uh, Orlando, can you ask a question about the topic to another one? Pregúntale a quien quiera sobre lo, lo, lo del tema, las preguntas que hicieron. Eh, Carla Solís. Carla, right? Hola. Ah, ok. Ok, Mr. Orlando. Perdón, no, no escuché. La pregunta igual en español, teacher. No, that one is in English. Ok. Mr. Orlando, we are waiting. Ah, perdón, teacher, yo pensé que usted no iba a preguntar a los dos. No, you. Tú, tú tienes que preguntarle a Carla. Hazle la pregunta acerca de, por ejemplo, what did the ant? ¿Qué hizo la hormiga? O what did the grasshopper? Algo así, no sé. Ok. Eh, what did the ant en invierno? ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? And that one is winter. What did the ant in winter? Winter. Mm -hmm. Winter. What is the ant in winter, Carla? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> in Spanish. No, 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 What did the ant in winter? ¿Qué es lo que hizo la hormiga en invierno? Now, answer in English. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, hunt, uh, Ay, no sé cómo decir, recolectaba. Eh, uh, collect. Mm -hmm. collect. Collect it for the... Mm. For winter. For winter. Perfect. Good. Now, Carla, pick someone and ask a question. Elija alguien y pregunte. Pick someone and ask a question. Uh, a quien sea del grupo. Sí, ahorita, perdón. Ya, yeah, no, no, no. Eh, bueno, sé a los que están conmigo en el grupo, tal vez, o oh, déjeme ver. Eh, a Claudia. Ok, Claudia, now. Uh, ask a question, Carla, to, to Claudia. Okay, uh, Claudia, what's your favorite part? The history? Uh, 
Ay, no sé cómo decir. I'm going to help you. Try to say it. Te voy a ayudar. Trata de decirlo. Vampaya. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál era su parte favorita? What was your favorite part of the story? Okay. My favorite part is... Mm -hmm. eh, no sé cómo decir que la parte donde el saltamonte se dio cuenta que estaba que no había hecho bien las cosas. Ah, when he realized that he didn't do nothing. Repeat, when he realized. When he realized. No, when he. When he. Realized. Realized. He didn't do. He didn't do. Nothing. Nothing. Good. Muy bien. Now pick someone and ask a question. Elige a alguien y pregunta. Ok. Permítanme. Eh, Mario Marroquín. Ok. Mr. Mario, are you here? Yes. Yeah. Now ask a question. Okay. What attitude did the last hopper have at the at the beginning? At the beginning. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. La pregunta en, en español es, ¿qué actitud tomó que el, el, el salto, el, la hormiga o el saltamonte de ese señor? El saltamonte. Ok. Um... El, Se puso triste por no poder por no haber recolectado pero no sé cómo se dice en, en, en inglés um, ok at the beginning al inicio de la historia estaba triste al inicio de la historia o estaba feliz? oh no no estaba feliz estaba, al ah, final okay. que sí he was he was what he was huh? he, he was unhappy yeah perfect he was happy now mister pick someone and ask a question ok um Uh, Alex Riva. Alex, Mr. Alex, are you here? Yeah. Perfect. Ask a question. Okay. Um, uh, con... ¿Cómo se dice actitud? Attitude. 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 Arit, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what what are it is y que no sé cómo digamos quiere decir qué actitud puso la hormiga what is the... pidió, uh -huh. cuando pidió ayuda el saltamonte. Okay, repeat after me. What was what was the attitude the attitude of the ant of the ant when when the grasshopper the grasshopper ask ask for help for help okay perfect okay uh, mr rivas your turn <laughs> um porque algunos no lo sé inglés. Eh, creo que se molestó. Eh, creo que... Creo que se dice... He got... Mm -hmm. Upset. Upset. Uh -huh. He got upset. Oh. Mm -hmm. eh, creo que eso se diga. Se, o sea, se molestó porque le pidió ayuda. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Ok, guys. 
Um, before finishing this class, you are going to be, you are going to have homework. You are going to get homework for next Monday. Van a tener una tarea para el siguiente lunes. What is going to be about? In the couple or the trios that you worked, and las parejas o trios que ustedes trabajaron, you are going to create a conversation. That conversation could be about fashion, about money, about country, about food, about recipes, about your daily routine, about whatever you want it be. Puede ser lo que ustedes quieran. And then for next Monday, you will present it in the class. Lo van a presentar en la clase. And then you are going to ask to your colleagues or to your classmates, le van a preguntar a sus compañeros, what was about? Sobre qué era la conversación. Okay? So, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Sí, pero que no lo sea. Yo no entendí muy bien la tarea. Okay, in Spanish. Sí, por favor. En, en los tríos o parejas que trabajaron van a crear una conversación. Puede ser de lo que ustedes gusten. Y el próximo lunes lo deben de presentar en la clase. Y cuando lo presenten, al final van a hacerle preguntas, unas preguntas a sus mismos compañeros sobre qué era su, sobre qué era su, su conversación o qué era esto y así sucesivamente para ver si se estuvo prestando atención, ¿ok? okay. Sí, ok. Una pregunta adicional. ¿Cuánto uh -huh. tiempo más o menos la conversación? Muy bien. Por lo menos el mínimo de tiempo debe de ser un minuto. Lo mínimo. Okay. Todos están en el grupo, ¿correcto? De WhatsApp. Sí. Yeah. Okay. ok. ¿Qué es lo que se va a proceder? Se va a habilitar en el grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan enviar. Por ejemplo, van a poner, yo soy, digamos, Joel Rodríguez y voy con tal persona, o yo soy Joel Rodríguez, quienes van conmigo, y así sucesivamente se van a ir eh, poniendo de acuerdo entre ustedes. ¿Ok? Okay. Okay. So, do you have any questions? Other question about it? Other question? Es que ese audio que nos puso ahora no lo puede compartir eh, para escucharlo. Sí, lo vamos a seguir trabajando. Incluso van a, vamos a sacar algunas frases de ahí y se lo voy a enviar para que ustedes lo practiquen y lo escuchen, ¿ok? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Anything else? Algo más? Eh, sí, teacher, y si la... no nos acordamos con quién hicimos el grupo ahora. Eh, sí, porque esto, yo no me tiene una no, lista no. o sea tiene una ah. lista de cómo hizo el grupo los grupos y creo que listas no tengo pero lo que pueden hacer es que se eh, que se pongan de acuerdo y los que vayan quedando pues son los que trabajaron probablemente juntos y no se recuerdan yo y si no simplemente se ponen de acuerdo compañera y un compañero por lo menos sus seis a ellas creo que iba con perla a con perla okay, okay. correcto eh, is another question about it no, yes. Sí, no. Sí, sí que quizá, mm -hmm. no sé si es algo que solo a mí me escuché. Eh, digamos, yo escuché el audio. Eh, no sé si es por, por qué diferencia, me parece en inglés de otra región, distinto al que normalmente estamos aprendiendo a escuchar. Pero mm -hmm. digamos, yo escucho sus indicaciones y digamos que un, ¿qué? un 80% de sus indicaciones yo las entiendo. Mm -hmm. Pero este audio... Sí, me costó bastante entenderlo. ¿Por qué será? Because that, this audio is Britannic. Eh, it is a Britannic accent. Es, es británico el acento. That's why it's a little bit difficult to understand it. Pero voy a empezar a trabajar más con American audios para que se haga un poco más fácil, ¿ok? Y como sí. también, uh -huh. recordemos que lo que buscamos es variar, que se, uh, pronunciaciones, eh, tiempos de velocidad, bueno, todo lo que hemos estado hablando para que no simplemente se acostumbren a un tipo de pronunciación, a un tipo de fluidez. Por eso mismo, estas actividades, escuchar a sus compañeros, escucharse a sí mismo, es lo que les va a ayudar para poder desarrollar esa skill sin necesidad de estar leyendo nada. Okay, okay, so guys, it, it is my pleasure. I hope that you are going to be having a wonderful rest of the night. And thank you so much for being time. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you next Monday. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye.